Alright, so, that's enough trash-talking cast form. Here's Brendan, someone else I can trash-talk. I hate having battles sprung on me when I least expect them, it's really irritating. Rival battles get pretty bad for that in the Pokemon games. Anyways, unlike the Team Aqua character, Brendan here has a bunch of Pokemon all different types, all somewhat exploitable, and I can just bring out whatever counter picks him at any given time, so this battle's actually quite a bit easier. I wonder how much uh, harder the Pokemon games would be if you didn't know what they were sending out. Um, probably quite a bit harder. That's kind of the deal with, um... Well, that's what Stadium does. It, it doesn't tell you. Well, pretty much any, um, any time you play Pokemon against other people, it doesn't tell you what they're using next. Yeah. They just kind of, they just kind of happen. And then you're just... That is a weird back sprite for Rhyhorn. Hmm. I mean, how do you draw the back of a giant, rocky, spiky rhino? It, it, just the, I think it's just the angle that's really weird. Oh boy, Pineco's evolving! <laughs> oh, I like you gave you give Pineco all the attention, but there's an evolution going just slightly to the left of him there. Hey, nobody uh, cares about bears. I care about pine cones. Hey, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Fortress is amazing. He's a cool Pokemon. And you know what's great in um in this in this ROM hack is it's a Steel type only. It's not old, it's not a Bug type. So it loses its four times fire weakness, which actually makes it far more potent when it's less of a bug. <laughs> when it is just a steel tank. There's a joke in there about only, you know, only you can prevent fortress fires, but there you go. Ooh, that was fancy. That was a, uh, that, that was, I don't know if that was scripted or if that was just really good timing. Oh yeah, what with the bear being there, but uh... No, I mean the, the lightning when he gave you the HM. Oh right, okay. Got ya. It's almost like this HM is cursed. Mmm. So uh, this is a line of dialogue I find really interesting in Emerald, is... Scott coming up, you, coming up to you and telling you that Brendan was really, really salty about being beaten. And I'm just like, oh, <laughs> I don't know if I should feel bad about that, <laughs> since he's kind of a douche. What are you, his hype man? I think this guy is just lying, just to make you feel better and to trust him, so you can do whatever weird thing he wants you to do. But he seems he seems super sketchy. Uh, he kind of is. That does sound like something he would say, because, yeah, you are right, he is kind of just like a hype man. That's his whole thing in this game. Is that man a Yakuza? Uh, I think I did an editing mix-up, but I'm just going to keep that in since we've acknowledged it. <laughs> oh, this is one of the few places I remember from this game. Mm-hmm, Fortree City. Oh, no squirt bottle needed. He's just... They got a lot more aggressive in this gen. Yep, Sudowoodo just raring to go. This Sudowoodo is sexy. Um, what was originally a progression blocker from Gen 2, you know, disguised as a tree, is just a catchable Pokemon in this ROM hack. And it's a rock type, not a grass type. That's why it's Sudowoodo. It's pseudo wood, Fake wood. It's petrified wood. Mmm. Oh, I never thought of it that way. Anyways, Fortree City is a, um, a, a city entirely made out of tree houses, and that is the coolest thing ever. I'm down with that. It's a, it's a town comprised of entirely ten-year-olds. Ooh, an Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl is another cool Gen 1 Pokemon. Hmm. Whoa. Also, yes, I am now trading away Rocco. He's been a good ally, a good strong ally. He's got me through thick and thin, but here comes a Pokemon that is so goddamn beastly it's gonna carry me through most of the rest of this game. Aerodactyl's legit. What up? Aerodactyl is... As a kid I never bothered getting an Aerodactyl, I never cared for it, I didn't think it was that good. And it's only recently, now I've gotten into more the meta game of Pokemon, that I realise these things are ridiculous. They've got so much speed, they're so bloody powerful. They can learn like moves like Dragon Dance to boost their power and speed even further. And they're not dragon types, so they don't get completely punked by other dragons. They're just good mons. Aerodactyls are just great. This old lady's gonna give us hidden power, which is uh, a move you see a lot in uh, Gen 3 competitive, because at its best, it can do 70 base damage of any type you want it to. 
but you have to manipulate your Pokemon's IVs, i.e. their hidden stats, in order to capitalize on this. What is this? Uh, you just, it's just a... It's, it's a guess which hand's got the coin. It's literally trial and error guessing game. Yay! It's dumb, but... Oh, hidden power. So on top of hidden power, here's a move, here's a move tutor. We haven't bumped into a lot of these. There are some characters in Emerald who will just teach you a move, and they'll do it as much as you want them to, and it's really helpful and really good, so... Sleep talk is pretty legit. Hmm. Basically a move that you can use to wreck your opponents while you're sleeping. Yes. Use it in conjunction with rest, and you can constantly heal yourself and constantly keep attacking regardless. Yep, that's what Snarlax is good for. Mm-hmm. Throw some leftovers on there, and you are nigh unkillable. Yeah, you've pretty much got a Pokemon that constantly heals itself with eating and sleeping. My spirit Pokemon. Lady, I don't want to know what why you're carrying a parasol. Uh oh. Who got this number? Oh, hey, Kira, what up? Hey, Kira, you're the one who rewinded time earlier. <laughs> I mean, that's the second time you've done this in this LP. Yeah, I'm just calling you to let you know. Alrighty, so, um... Oh, what's the mail? We gotta read mail. Be nice to Puzzle. Volbeat will be fantastic. La, 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 la. Um... What? Thanks, Roman? <laughs> Mail is a weird mechanic that was introduced in Gen 2. I didn't even remember whether or not it was included in, again in Gen 3. Apparently it was. It's entirely pointless. You only get you only get to write like stock messages with like placeholder names and yeah. Try jumping. So what you're telling me is Dark Souls ripped this game off too. Yes, Dark Souls of Steven Universe. We've got you both. We nailed nailed you, is what we've done. Man, Pokemon just has his fingers in all sorts of different things. Mm-hmm. Or roots. Or whatever. You get the idea. <laughs> Try Licky Tongue, but whole. Okay, so catching my Nido friends. Gotta love the Nidos. Uh, I can't find any bloody Nidorans, like the base form, so I'm just gonna breed those things together to make some Nidorans. And, uh... Here's Zangoose, that Pokemon you uh, went on about before for how strong it is. Oh yeah, I hyped, I hyped him up. It's it's pretty legit. And uh, with that, that's all the Pokemon in this route. Let's move on. Or is it? Walking into an invisible wall there. Steven! <laughs> Steven! Oh, no. Mm -mm. Steven, this, uh, you know, we, we keep meeting up like this. It's, it's kind of uncomfortable. You and Scott both, actually. Alright, so... Oh, man! Kecleon! So Kecleon is, um, Kecleon is a fun Pokemon. Every time you attack it, it changes its type to whatever you just hit it with, which... Seems like a really good gimmick, but is very exploitable because you can use it just to make all of your attacks super effective against it. As long as you've got a varied move set. But as a Pokemon, um, it has a its most notable appearance is in uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. It appears in different dungeons as a merchant. If you try and steal from him. An army of level 90, uh, level 100 Kecleons fill the room and basically murder the shit out of you with like Hyper Beam. And it's the best. <laughs> you just get absolutely murked by them. I should play Mystery Dungeon at some point, either for an LP or a stream, I don't know. I tried playing that game before, I uh, didn't make it too far. That's such a cool fly animation. Hmm. Alright, so, um, here's the ROM hack being super merciful towards us. Once we clear this Kecleon out of the way, we find that there is an item. Obviously, an item you don't get in the original game. An item that's actually really hard to come by in the original game. Lucky egg. Lucky egg? Oh god, why didn't you give me that sooner? What does that do? I can't remember. Doubles your XP. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> And so the game is still going to be hard as balls, but that does give me a little something to work with. This gym 
basically appears as a terrifying glitchy nightmare unless you pause the game and unpause it as soon as you walk in. Oh, I remember this gem. Oh no. Yeah. Obviously that is the fault of the rum hack, this, not the game. These these I I don't I don't like these puzzles. You're not great, Adam. Well, the nice thing about them is the worst that can happen with them is you just kind of uh you know, end up having to do a battle or two that you don't actually need to do, which isn't really the end of the world, but you can get stuck in here a while if you're not very good at outside the box thinking. Well, I mean, I was... I don't know when this game came out, but I... I'm gonna assume you were a kid, like you were pretty young. Yeah. Because I remember struggling with them a bit as well, to be honest. Anyway, uh, as I said before, Caesar is a beast because all I need to do is use Dragon Dance to boost his attack stat. And then spam Rock Slide, which has a 100% accuracy modifier in this ROM hack. <gasps> so I could just... That's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I could just murder everything with rocks from this point on. Just throw rocks at everyone and everything. I'll tell you what, it's been a while since we've beaten a gym leader. The last one we beat was our dad, so... Be nice having a gym battle in this episode. Anyway, three evolutions. I couldn't begin to tell you why Churchill has a different background. Like, he had a different coloured background there. I think it's because it's a Gen 2 Pokemon. I'm not quite sure. If anyone could clarify that, that'd be rad. Anyway. Out of the three of those, Metagross is kind of the most important one because Metagross is a goddamn monster. You can destroy enemies pretty easily. He's pretty meta. He's pretty meta. <laughs> are, you, are you trying to imply that he was gross there, perhaps, or? Uh... I mean, grossly powerful. Like, uh, you could go with that. Yeah, why not? I mean, it also he is meta. At least he was meta when I was playing Pokemon. I don't know if he still is. Yeah, yeah, Metagross never stopped being super good. Anyways, this person's kind of gimmicky. They come at us with baby Pokemon, like baby birds. Which is a bit odd, considering the rest of the game has been challenging us. My babies! This is some high-level high fodder. That's a testament to how weak they are, that even if they're, like, just under 10 levels above me, I can still one-shot them for the most part. I mean, you did crit. Even still, even still. If that were Thunderbolt, they'd be down. They'd be down like a sack of potatoes. But for some reason, Kadabra can't learn Thunderbolt. Oh my <laughs> God, no! <laughs> Please make this suffering end. It's it's over. Don't you worry. I did it. I did the puzzle. What are those pink things? Are those like little wings on her hat? Literally, yes. That's what they are. <laughs> what, can I, what can I say? She's got strange fashion sense. This this lady. Um, I should be talking about this. This reminds me of the postman from, uh, Majora's Mask. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, okay, so two things about this fight. First of all, single battles, again, out of nowhere, which caught me off guard. I thought I could rock slide my way through all of this, but apparently not. I'm gonna have to think a little harder than that. And, um, second thing, I want to really just talk about the battle against Winona from the Pokemon anime at this point, because... It's infamous. It is probably the most infamous battle that's ever happened in the Pokemon anime. <laughs> was it that bad? Oh, I don't remember this. I mean, I've seen... I've, I have watched all the way up to Gen 4 in the anime. Wait. So I, I have watched it. I just don't remember it. No, tell a lie. I'm just having second thoughts in my head. It's not Winona. It's the next gym leaders who have that who have that infamous battle. So we'll get... We'll put a pin in the board for now. And we'll get to... We'll talk about that when we get there. So, um... Let's kill some birds. Let's kill six birds with many, many stones. Mixing up gym leaders. This LP is so unprofessional. You know what they say, a bird in the hand. Yup. A bird a bird in the hand is worth a gym badge. I don't I don't know where to take that one. <laughs> I didn't either. Anyway, Altaria, cool Pokemon. Um Anyone who doesn't know Pokemon would probably be very baffled by this when playing against it because most of your attacks are going to be ineffective. That's because it's a dragon type. It's the most unsuspecting dragon type. How it's even a dragon is still kind of lost on me. I think it's something to do with folklore for some 
weird culture in the world, but there you go. Wow, you're just assuming that anything non British or American is just weird? Yeah, uh, dude. I think it's Welsh, and I'm happy to call Wales weird, because <laughs> they're like my neighbour, and I'm cool with those guys. They're my awkward cousin. Yeah. And then she comes at you with a skarmory, and then you just cry forever. Yeah, I that genuinely did fuck. This genuinely did fuck me up because I was like, oh, oh, that that feel like this was since they put Aerodactyl in the very same town where you fight Winona. I think they anticipated that you would come at her with the Aerodactyl, so they brought in Skarmory just to give you a hard counter there. But don't worry, my angry crackly friend Colonel Sanders can still uh, dish out the pain when necessary. And he's, he still does a gigantic amount of damage. Mm, but doesn't take being melted all too well. Overheat does a lot more. The one thing that really hard counts a Skarmory, especially in Gen 3, is a fire attack. Pretty much the only thing. Yeah, not until Magnezone comes out in Gen 4. Yeah. Alright, so, um, now that Colonel Sanders has, you know, done his job, I can start switching back to other Pokemon now. I'm going to try and bring in the lower level ones so they get a, a bit more XP. Because, you know what, uh, all the Pokemon need some love up in here. Till they grow too old. Oh, that was a bad pick. Oh, you have Icy Wind. That's just it. That's why I picked it. Now, as you can see there, Tropius is quicker than me, so I got to attack first by... You know, use this attack to charge its solar beam. This icy wind, which has a 100% chance of lowering your opponent's speed, lowered its speed just enough that I could then use a second icy wind, and I felt really jammy about that. Strategy. So it's been sitting there charging its solar beam for bloody ages while I've been wailing on it. If that were critical, I'd have been super happy. Yeah, um, get wrecked. Get wrecked, sea drop. Yeah, you know what? It was. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. I've got the rest of my team in play. I'll be fine. Typhoon's sacrifice will not be forgotten. In fact, come back out, Colonel Sanders. Hex yeah. Uh. I'll never get tired of the glitchy audio. I <laughs> know! It's so... It's so jarring. Oh, full restore. Nice. Loving that full restore. I want to give props to the ROM hacker. I believe Suicune is what they go by. I want to give props to Suicune because, like... This is a really big undertaking for as glitchy and as broken as it does get at points. I have had a lot of fun with this ROM hack, and it is made for some very fun videos, so yeah. Anyways, give Colonel Sanders a little bit of a boost there to see if he can take an area lace. He cannot. Ouch. <laughs> that was a little optimistic of me. Never mind. Um, let's get Caesar to wreck the rest of this team now. We done here. Let's just drag a dance and sweep. In fact, Gen 3's metagame pretty much revolved around using dragon dance and sweeping. Because after you've used one or two dragon dances, nothing is fast or powerful enough to stop you from killing everything. Alright, so Tropius down. And next up we got Zatu. Kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> No, there's still one Pokemon left. Oh, yeah. I saw there were two. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. I forgot the big one. The big... I mean, it's not... You're still going to probably sweep anyway, but... Hey... Oh. Whoa. Oh, damn, Zatu. You'll actually... Uh, well, that raising your defenses wasn't really a prime idea right there, because that ain't going to save you. <laughs> that was too little, way too late. Oh, raising your attack as well. Again, very optimistic of you. Oh, trying to heal yourself back to full health to capitalize on those things. Again, very optimistic of you. This isn't gonna help Here's you. some fucking rocks. <laughs> Just get murdered. This ain't working for you. Down you go. There we are, and now we move on to the final Pokemon. My plan backfired! <laughs> there were so many... There were so many variables in that plan! Well, yeah. But I have rocks on my side, a shitload of them. Oh no, yeah. Swallow is 
not going to survive that. Yeah, no, I suppose. Oh, wow, it actually did. Oh, Christ. It actually did survive. Oh, no. It's determined. Double team. How? Your only weakness. How fucking dare you, Winona? How dare you? Oh, dear. Now I'm going to have to get serious. For which I mean just throw more rocks and hope for the best. God damn it, Winona. You're really trying to make me earn this victory, aren't you? Rocks to the face. I guess she thinks that eventually you run out of rocks. Nope. I have seven more volleys of rock. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> you I can... For the love of oh! And then you still got rock too. I could do. I could do this for days, Winona. <laughs> this is just gonna keep happening. Oh, you hit the range on it. <laughs> Whoa! Damn that one. Oh, that was a that was a good hit right there. And there goes Winona. I've never seen people fling so many fucking rocks with such grace. Cool. Maybe if you had an Aerodactyl Winona, you would win. It is a flying type. That is one thing. I remember in uh, Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver, you can re refight Faulkner, the flying type leader from that from Johto, and he has a bloody Charizard, and that really bloody threw me. I was like, oh, Jesus. I know it has giant F of wings, but I never count it as a flying type, because it's a it's a freaking fire dragon. But anyways, um, we got Winona's number. For reals, though. And uh, now time for us to uh, move on to the... Uh, Get called. Um, oh, hey, Scott. Ugh, you really don't leave me alone, do you? <laughs> you need to stop giving your number out. I really do. In fact, I, I literally did just that. Why do you even answer his calls? Anyways, next episode we're going to move on with our adventure. So, uh, see you in the next episode, guys. Tatty bye. Bye. Bye.